what's up you guys i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to talk about as the title says how i got a remote software engineering job at a silicon valley startup as a fresher so let's get started all right before we get into the video i would like to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel we just hit 5000 subscribers and it's been surreal and to be honest uh, i didn't expect to hit 5000 subscribers so soon it's just been 6 months since i started the channel and i hope the content that i'm putting out is uh, valuable to you people and if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm going to post a lot more helpful and valuable content i only post once a week and i'm only going to make the content that you guys want to watch so look forward to that and definitely subscribe to my channel all right so let's talk about how i got my remote software engineering job so i finished my engineering in 2019 i studied computer science and i'm not an iitian i studied at a college called sjc mysore which is a pretty good college but it's definitely not um, iit uh, sort of tier one college but and i really don't think it matters all that much yes being an iitian might have its advantages like it might be easier for you to get an interview but apart from that i think there's not much advantage because once you get the interview it's up to you you need to prove to them that you're capable of uh, handling the job and you're smart enough so in that case it won't matter which college you're from or what you've studied that too in 2020 and beyond i think college degrees are becoming less and less important when it comes to judging the employability and capability of a software engineer mostly because many of the engineering graduates don't have the required skill set or are basically unemployable right so that's why it's important to work on your skills and it's important to learn what's valuable in the marketplace and you need to develop those skills on your own and after that it's going to be a piece of cake for you to find any job or even start up on your own so my college curriculum was pretty much similar to most of you guys i studied like c programming and java and oops using java and computer networks and stuff like that which are good skills to have it's good to have the knowledge but it's not really what helps i mean to get a job you need to know that a company is looking for a certain skill set and you need to have that skill set or you need to be in a position where you can learn that skill set quickly and be productive for the company right that's why they're going to hire you so now looking back i think my actual journey started when i picked up python programming online so i took the google developers python class which is a simple i think uh, two day class and it it has like four videos and it has very concise content about python programming and it was based in i think python 2.7 so that's where i picked up python and i will put the link in description for you guys to check it out so that was my first introduction to python and after that i started to think about what i can do with this and what i can build with this right so uh, then i started working on a few projects and i built my own personal projects and i think these projects really helped me in my uh, sort of internship search or job search so i used these projects and applied for internships so i did an internship at a software company called logmein if you've not heard about it it's a company behind uh, products like go to webinar go to meeting or last pass so i did a 6 month long internship over over there which was a software development internship and in this internship i really got to learn a lot i got a chance to play around with the latest technologies like react and angular and java spring node js stuff like that which was really fascinating because to me i always tend to think myself as a builder of things i like to build things and uh, one of these days i probably build my own startup but that's not the right mindset to have you don't want to build a startup for the sake of building a startup which is the trend these days right if you want to build a startup think of facebook mark zuckerberg didn't start facebook to build a startup or to be an entrepreneur he built facebook because it was cool and it was fun to build it and it was he enjoyed it right that should be the spirit build products and build projects just because you enjoy it you want to make something fun you want to make something really good and something helpful that's a good idea to start right and later on if people are liking what you've built then your product will quickly be transformed into an actual startup and you know you can build a business around it even google wasn't started as a company right google was started as a research project by larry page and sergey brin i think it's the wrong mindset that people have these days that they want to build a startup just to be cool and just to have that entrepreneur title in their instagram bio apart from that as a software engineer i think uh, is the best time to be a software engineer because you're not only employable across the world you're also 
are capable of starting your own tech company. So in my internship, like I said, I got to play with a lot of new technologies. So this internship was in my final semester and I had my final year project going on. So I had definitely picked up these skill sets and I used the same for my project as well. So my project was a reinforcement learning based algorithmic trading uh, application for which I built like a proper React web application. But why I'm mentioning this project is because this project sort of helped me get the job, right? So as I said, I was doing my internship and I came across this YouTube video of Beer Biceps who was interviewing this guy called Ayush who had founded a startup, Pestotech. So what Pestotech essentially does is uh, it trains engineers to learn the skill sets that are currently required in the market and helps them get a job, get a remote job at a Silicon Valley startup. Basically, now we have the technology and we have the capability of having a distributed team and working together and being more efficient than any sort of normal office teams. And it has been proven that remote teams are outperforming the regular office-based teams. It's beneficial for the companies as well because they don't have to spend a lot of money in maintaining an office and stuff like that. So as a result, they will pay their remote engineers higher and people can work from their own homes or wherever they are. So all you need is a good internet connection and a laptop and you can work from pretty much anywhere. So before before this, I had no idea of this remote jobs and you know distributed teams and stuff. But that video really gave me an idea, and I looked into Pesto Tech and I saw how they work and I saw their curriculum, and then I figured out that. I sort of have these skills already and I'm learning these skills on my own so I don't really need to go there and learn these skills but I can I can take this concept and I can try to apply for remote jobs on my own. So that's what I did. I went up to AngelList, I created an account and I started sending out applications to all the companies who are accepting remote software engineers. The point to note here is you want to find well-funded startups, right? I like this whole VC culture where uh, venture capitalists keep pumping money into these companies and so that they keep growing. A tech company is very asset light so they don't have many expenses the main expense is going to be their engineers and their product teams so they spend money on this and these startups also make use of the latest technology so you don't have to worry about not getting the rights out of interesting and challenging work so i was applying to five six companies per day and i had my resume i had good projects and i'd had this internship as well apart from that i didn't have any work experience because i was still a student however that didn't stop me from applying so i kept applying to these companies and i kept hearing back from a few of them and eventually i interviewed with a few of them and uh, the this one company that I really like called Airbase. I joined that company and I believed in the vision and the product and it gave me a great opportunity to learn and have great team members and mentors and that's why I chose this company and that's pretty much my story. So uh, right now I'm still working full time and no, I get a lot of questions of uh, freelancing and whether I am a freelancer. I'm not a freelancer. I have a full time job which is a remote job. So I work from home all the time. I do have meetings every now and then that I need to go and attend. Apart from that, it is a distributed team and this is getting pretty common nowadays and I, I see that there's lack of awareness and and pretty much most people in India are not aware of this remote jobs and uh, sort of remote work culture however I think in 2020 this remote culture is going to grow and more and more companies are going to adopt this culture because it's beneficial both for the company and for the people right so I think it's a great idea and you all can definitely look for remote jobs if you have experience and if you don't have experience you need to build projects to show that you're capable of software development and I think I'm not going to name any company but I see a lot of these service company jobs in our country which are honestly ridiculous right you have done engineering you're an engineering graduate and they are paying you peanuts to do a job that basically a 12th pass can do so don't waste your time at these sort of service based jobs and I would suggest that now more than ever learn the skills and get a better job at a product based company so that you know you're well compensated and you can move forward in life there's good earnings good growth and good learning right so that's what you should be looking for so that's pretty much it for this video if you like the video hit the thumbs up button if you have any other questions leave them in the comments down below or connect with me on my instagram i would be glad to help and yeah i hope this video inspires you and if it did subscribe to my channel for more and that's it thanks for watching